Morning, Emmanuel. Matt Carvel here. The passage for the devotion that I've picked out this morning is from Proverbs 23, verses 15 to 16. It says this in NLT. My child, if your heart is wise, my own heart will rejoice. Everything in me will celebrate when you speak what is right. In many cultures around the world, the idea of parents passing on wisdom to their children is something that is is very common. And uh, it's a very common theme in this book of Proverbs. But not only do we have uh, a father passing on wisdom to their child, when it comes to the Proverbs, actually, these are God's words. They're God's uh, truth. And so actually, when we read the Proverbs, what we need to realize is that it's God's wisdom passed on to us, his children. It's not just um, some nice ideas or some benefit of human experience. No, the Proverbs gives us wisdom, but that is God's vital instruction towards us. And the sort of angle on wisdom that these couple of lines uh, just um, go from is particularly looking at how wisdom, living in wisdom, speaking wisdom, brings joy to a father. And therefore, when we as Christians live according to God's wisdom, that brings joy. Heaven celebrates. It brings joy to God when we live like that. Maybe that's not something we think about often. Maybe we think about, okay, when's the time that God is most pleased with us? What brings a smile to God's face? Well, maybe it's when we read our Bibles or when we uh, worship him with songs really passionately. Or maybe in our minds we subconsciously connect God's pleasure with uh, the don'ts. When I don't lie or when I don't do something wrong or gossip or get angry or whatever it is. God's most happy with those things when I don't do the things that I shouldn't do. But actually this, uh, these couple of verses underline the fact that God is happy when we live and speak according to his wisdom. So it's important to understand um, what this wisdom is that it's talking about. You know, is God just uh, happy when we make good decisions? Maybe when we're savvy with our money, perhaps we, you know, get a really good deal on car insurance. Does, does heaven celebrate that because it's a wise thing to do? Or we, we use all our best parenting techniques and get our uh, kids to bed on time or we uh, skillfully navigate a, a work meeting and, and to, to get an outcome that we, that we want. I mean, yeah, okay, God is our Father. He uh, rejoices and enjoys the things that uh, we enjoy. I'm sure there's an extent to that. I'm not quite sure that that is what this uh, verse in Proverbs is actually talking about. Now, actually, if we read earlier in the book of Proverbs, we're given a clue as to what wisdom is. Wisdom, according to the Bible, is that it begins with a fear of God. It's a reverence to God. It's a, a submission to God's ways and an acceptance that God is the center of the universe and we are not. True wisdom is prioritizing the things that God prioritizes. It's not living according to what we think is right, but living according to his priorities. So what does heaven celebrate? What is the priority of heaven? Well, we know that in heaven, Jesus is exalted. Jesus is the one that is lifted up. And so to walk in wisdom for us, what brings most joy and celebration to God is when we live our lives in a way that honours Christ, just like he is honoured in heaven. Whether that's in our workplace, whether that's in our family life, whether that's in our relationships, whether it's in the decisions that we make, when we honour Christ, when we put him as a priority, not live for selfish, uh, according to our selfish desires, but live according to a way that honours Christ, follows him, is obedient to him, treasures him, prioritises his priorities. That is a way that, well, that is the way of wisdom according to the Bible when our lives are orientated around Jesus. When we do that, the fruit of this wisdom, 
otherwise known as the fruit of the spirit, I suppose, will flow from that. Integrity, conscientiousness, forgiveness, peace, humility, self-control, all those things. We'll live according to that. But it's not so much that God is, when we do an honest thing, that makes God celebrate. Well, yes, but it's actually the source of it is putting Jesus first and living according to him. And all these other uh, features of life will flow from that. So let's, let's walk in wisdom today. Now, I say that that's not always an easy thing to do. Sometimes it's difficult to prioritise Jesus in the workplace or at home or not make selfish decisions, but make decisions that are right according to God's word. Sometimes that's very hard to do. But the encouragement this morning is as we do that, even when we make a sacrifice to do that, heaven celebrates because Jesus is honoured in our lives. So let's walk in wisdom today.